Here is my new uh, Duji X96 Pro phone. Comes in this nice presentation case, uh, nicely sealed up. So we'll unseal it and have a look at it and see what we've got inside. So here is the phone. It's one of these ones that's got a, a six inch screen. This particular one is a nice sort of uh, turquoise color. Fingerprint sensor there and quad camera. You've got your power button here and your volume buttons there. Uh, looks like there's a thing there that might be for taking the battery. It's a micro B. It's a bit, it's a bit lighter than the phone I'm using at the moment, which is a uh, which is a ruggedized one. So I think this will be a lot better for everyday use, being a fair bit lighter. Here's the user manual. Here's the uh, charger plug. Here is the lead. Oh yeah, there is a, um, a giant. It comes with a screen protector already fitted and there's a film that you need to remove. You need to try and take that off without actually um, pulling off the screen protector as well. So I'm going to leave that for the moment and have a quick look at the book. So um, the uh, back, you just uh, pull it off just, just here where there's this little cutout comes off reasonably easily. It's a bit more difficult the first time I did it, but uh, it's all loosened up. It'll come off nice and easily now. Famous last words. So, um, the battery sort of seems to be held in by screws, which is not a bad idea. So, in my opinion, the instructions for this aren't terribly clear. So I thought I'd uh, just do a little film to explain it. There's a nano SIM goes in here, that's SIM slot 1. There's a micro SIM goes in here, but I only have two nanos. So this little black outline here around the edge is a micro to nano adapter. So I put the SIM in that and slid it in and then it worked fine. And here is where the TF card goes. So you can put in two SIMs and a TF card at the same time. The um, cover on the screen protector peels off quite nice and easy, leaving the screen protector behind. So that's a relief. Sometimes they can be a bit difficult. So just long press the button and it turns on. It says Doji powered by Android. Um, that's the front camera by the way. That's the light sensor. Um, there's a uh, speaker at the bottom and a microphone at the bottom. Here we are. English United States. I want English United Kingdom. So we go to English. United Kingdom, start. So now it's set. And uh, there it is, just uh, checking for updates and so on, and getting all the operating system ready. And then in a minute, I'll have to do the copy data. Here we are, copy apps and data. So, so here's just a couple of screenshots showing some of the apps that are already installed and the rearrangement I've done with the screens. So here is the uh, new uh, Doji phone, Doji phone connected to my car, and as you can see it's running Android Auto and offering me some routes home from where I am. I don't really need the navigation to get me home, but I just want to get a little photograph of it actually in action as a navigation unit because I've been using it that way quite a bit. So here we are out in my garden, got some new plants the other day. This one here is a variegated nausea, and that one down there is a napita just been out blackberrying and picking some of our own raspberries as well so just thought I'd do a little bit of filming with this new camera phone so you can see how well it does in moderate light relatively close range and here is a short bit of playing around filming using the macro filming lens uh, just to give you an idea of what you can do with that that's really close in about an inch away and here is uh, a photograph of the Napita uh, from a distance and here is a macro of the actual flowers again taken within an inch or so of the flower and here is uh, a uh, macro film of the nausea flower and here is a macro photo of it so all in all quite a useful camera